Hello, Steve again from Statistix Fix, and I bought something else faulty off eBay that appears to be in a Sainsbury's bag covered in parcel tape. Let's see if we can fix it. Ding. Oh, it literally is just in the Sainsbury's bag. I don't want to cut any of it. Tell you what. Nice. Right, so this is uh, looks like a brand new bag. I'll just show you the listing for this. There we go, there's the listing. Uh, as you can see, Canon Legria or Legria HF R806 digital camcorder black. And I'll pay £27 plus postage for this. Uh, I do actually already have one of these and I bought it new and it was it was a couple of hundred pounds, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Especially seeing as it comes with this snazzy bag. Um, I'll just show you the description. So Canon Allegria HF blah 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 blah. Uh, camcorder, camcorder bag, all leads, charger, 32 gigabyte memory card, instructions, battery, all included, box tatty. Well, there is no box, unless it's inside there. Uh, camcorder charges, turns on and off, however it will not show a picture on the screen, question mark. Sorry, however, it will not show a picture on the screen. Screen is fully working though and functions all work as does the touchscreen, just no image slash picture. Condition of camera and parts is very good, like new, not a single marked camcorder and carry case bag is brand new. Excellent. Okay, so I thought £27 was pretty good. Um, like I say, I've already got one of these so that I can use the bag for it. Uh, I'm going to get another... Uh, SD card and another battery for it. I, I would have paid more than £27 just for those few things on its own, so I thought it was worth a punt. So let's have a look, see what we've got. This bag's actually quite nice. It looks it looks literally brand new. Oh, it has got, there we go, it has got the box. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Hmm, that looks like water, doesn't it? Some kind of liquid on there. Instructions. HDMI cable. Don't remember that coming with it. Excellent. 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 32 gig. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Okay, so it comes on, it makes the same noise that my camera does. But yes, black screen, now the lens... Right, I wasn't sure whether it would be, you know, something to do with the lens cap, because when... You know, maybe there's a sensor on there that tells the screen whether it's open or closed. Let's pop the SD card in. Hmm. The screen is obviously the touch screen does work on it. Is there like a setting on it for turning the screen on and off? Got to be honest, I don't really play around with mine that much. All right, I'm going to check this memory card in my computer to see whether there's a problem with the memory card or whether the, you know the, there is something inherently wrong with with the camcorder. Yes, yeah, so let's reset everything. Pretty sure they will have done all this, but check whether the lens cover is open. No, it's not. It is now. 
no memory card still nothing on the screen okay let me check the memory card okay so the memory card was showing up on my pc and it did have a couple of canon folders in there and there's a few pictures that had been taken and it looked like well it was just a black screen so i don't think it's a problem with the display I think they just it's recording a black screen as well now it's saying check the memory card and I've just reformatted it in in the computer so so no there's more wrong with this than just a black screen it's um, it's not accepting that SD card either but that's not the end of the world unless it doesn't accept any SD card I can't think of anything else to try, so let's try and take this bad boy apart. See if we can see anything on the inside. Take this battery off. So yes, let's crack this open. Again, not literally. Let's get the blue mat. There's just three screws on the bottom. We've got two screws on the side. Looks like they're all the same size, which is good. And another screw here. And here. Oops, missed that one. Okay. Oh, it looks nice and clean inside. Let me get this top bit off. There we go. That ribbon connector is not in there properly, so that's very possibly me. Yeah, I might have just done that. Okay, well, that all looks fine. All right, we've got another screw here. I'm just have a look at this first before I go any further with the, the main body of the camera. There's another screw just at the top there. Hmm. That all looks okay. I'm definitely going to forget where all these screws go. Okay, so that's the SD card slot. Right, something just fell out. It's like a thermal pad. Where did that fall from? Oops. Gotta be honest, I didn't expect it to be this sort of intricate. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. This is still attached somehow. Ah. Okay. So we have, we've got a connector at the bottom. It looks like a push, there we go. 
Right. Well, it's that that's rattling. Pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Let's see if we can work out why this is rattling. Okay, so I've just rattled mine and it makes the same noise. So obviously something in there. <laughs> I'm guessing you're not supposed to rattle it. So it's, it's not going to be that. I'm wondering whether it was just that the ribbon cable or whether I pulled that out while I was dismantling it because um, I can't see anything obvious but I'm just going to have a closer look at this board maybe I can take this board out let me just have a closer look yeah this ribbon cable here wasn't seated quite correctly either but again that could have just been me um, this one is obviously okay because the, the touch screen is working and um, you know, everything is getting to the screen apart from the image, but I think that the problem with the image is not on the screen. I think it's just not picking up an image from here. And that is the ribbon cable that wasn't in properly. Was it this one? So a closer look at this. You know, everything looks fine. Can't, there's nothing obvious. Um, it's possible that it, it's been dropped by the previous owner and it has dislodged the ribbon cable because it is such a it's so clean inside it's it doesn't look very old at all I can't believe that something will have failed so I think before I go any further I am just going to put it all back together which is going to be fun Um and just make sure the ribbon cables are seated correctly and just give it another go and see what happens then. So the next time you see it, it'll, uh, it'll all be back together, hopefully, unless I break it halfway through. Okay, so I've not fully put this back together. I've not put the screws in, but I've put all the ribbon connectors back in properly. So I'm just going to give it a quick test now. I'm going to put it fully back together if, um, you know, I don't think this is going to solve the problem, so... Let's just see if it does anything different. Right, so that's now recording. But I presume it's just recording a black screen. Hmm. Check whether the lens cover is open, and it is open. I still think it thinks that the lens cover is closed. But I couldn't see a sensor. I'm wondering whether there is a sensor. What are these things here? Right, I don't know, I can't work this out, but I'm going to just clean around this area in case there is a sensor that's dirty, that senses whether the lens... I don't, I don't know, I'm clutching at straws, but <laughs> I'm going to try it. Try and take this, take all this back out again. Oh joy. I've got to be honest, I, I've got no idea how this thing works. Is, is, this, is, is this, is this the lens? that goes through here I don't I really don't know is that the recording lens you obviously don't want to be touching that but I just have a closer look at the uh, at the board
I was really hoping to see something obvious here, but I can't. There's a chip on the back. Cannon chip. I wonder could that be faulty? But it looks so clean, it looks it looks perfect. Maybe this is just my lack of understanding of how these things work. But I would imagine that if this is what records the image, that you would be able to see from here to here. But if I look closely through that, it's just pitch black. Like there's something blocking the way. But... I, like I say, I don't really know how they work, but I, that would make sense to me. How, how's it going to record on that if it can't see through there? Well, I've gone this far now. I might as well try and take this apart a bit and see if I can figure out what's going on inside. Right. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but I can now see through this. That was closed. I just don't... How am I opening it there? There's like a little... Wow. <laughs> this bit here was closed when I took it out. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be open like that. So what makes that open? Okay, I really feel like I'm getting somewhere now. Um, I'll just have a closer look at this. I think I'm getting close to the problem. Just don't know why they're not working. Right, so that's now closed. So there's no real way of me testing this without putting everything back together. But I think I know that this is okay, so before I wreck this completely, I think I'll put this back on. And then there's no danger of me making that any worse, unless I can't work out how to get it back on. Yeah, let's put that back on. And let's also pop this bit back on. Now what I'd like to be able to do is connect this up. I still have access to this, but it's not going to be possible. What I think I might do, just to um, prove the fault, if you like, um, is I want to try and get this in, in an open position. You know, sort of force it into an open position. I don't know how, but hmm. let me have a think about it. So uh, there's there's obviously this point here. I wonder if there's a little tiny motor or something inside here that just turns and opens those because I can't see why else there would be you know a ribbon cable going to it 
it all points to this ribbon connector here and this is the one I think that wasn't connected properly when I opened it up but then I just put it back together and I did connect it properly and it didn't work can I get this off and have a closer look at this oh no <laughs> They're both out now. Still can't work out how this how it works. Looks like there is a little tiny motor in here. And then these are the arms that open and shut. I wonder if that motor is just not working. I wouldn't know where to start replacing that. I'm pretty sure you can't just buy just this part of it. I don't mind you, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back together without those bits in. And I'm going to see if it displays an image. Because then that will prove that that's the fault. Maybe. So I'm just going to pop it all back together again now, and next time you see it, it'll be almost back together, um, but without the, I'll call it a shutter. I don't really know what it is. All right, okay, it's not back together properly again, but it's back together enough, I think. Battery zone. Turns on, that's always a good sign. I'm gonna go through this rigmarole again. Check whether the lens cover is open. No, it isn't. Oh yeah. We have an image. Oh excellent. But there's my other one. <laughs> you can't see that, can you? There's my other camera. The same as this one. Um, right, wow. Um, so what does that actually do? Because that now looks like it's working. That must do something. It's still zooming. You can zoom in and out. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm massively pleased that I've got to the root of the problem. The problem was that these little tiny pieces of, I don't even know what they're made of, they're really thin plastic, um, were just in the stuck, in the, in the closed position inside, but I don't know what they do. If anybody knows what they do in the comments, please let me know. Um, but I'm happy with it working as it is, I think. Someone will probably tell me that it'll blow up without them or something. I, I don't know. Um, but I can make use of this as it is. Whilst it's now working, <laughs> you know, I'm really, really happy. I'm not going to be entirely happy not putting those bits of plastic back in. The only thing I can think of um, is that it somehow adapts to the light. You know, it, it opens and closes to let more light in. I don't know. Um, let me just turn off my, my light. And let's see what happens to the image.
Yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know. It doesn't. It just seems to be behaving normally to me. It's just annoying because they must do something. Right, what I'm going to do, because I'm really pleased that I managed to to fault find the problem, it now works as it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything back together properly, make sure it still works. I'm going to leave these bits out, and then I'm hoping that enough people watch this, someone who knows what they're doing, who knows what they're talking about. Vince, if you're watching, let me know, mate, <laughs> um, what they do. Um, because I probably won't be able to sleep <laughs> not knowing. Um, so I'm just going to pop everything back together again now. Um, next time you see it, it'll be fully back together. Okay, so that's it, fully back together. Uh, went back okay. Um, actually a lot easier than I thought. I did put a couple of screws in the wrong place, but uh, it wasn't disastrous. I could uh, just, just switch them out. So the only thing that's now not in this anymore is this shuttery thing which I still don't know what it does but let's see if uh, let's see if it's working now yes it is right let's I think I left the yeah we've got the SD cards in so let's just try and record something with it It's recording. Needs to be recording okay. Hello. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, the, the only thing I can think of is the uh this thing controls the the light that's that's allowed into the lens i'll probably know when we put this on the um on the computer and look look at it you know if it looks a bit washed out maybe i don't know but hey i'll uh, i'll gladly accept that for 27 quid with all the other extra bits let's stop that now So I know I've said it before, but I'm super pleased with that. Um, it's um, it's it's functional enough for me. I'll be able to use it now in some of my videos going forward. Uh, in fact, I'll in the next one I'll I'll test it out. We'll see see how it copes. Um, so that's yeah, that's that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you got any enjoyment from it, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. Can I fix random things off eBay and uh, <laughs> and how-to videos? Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye bye.